Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy, and Gmail has a fairly significant redesign coming down the pipes right now, and you can check it out early. Here's everything you need to know about the new Gmail. Okay, so let's start with how you can get this new look for yourself. In the top right corner of the Gmail page, there is a good old fashioned gear icon. Click that and then click the try new Gmail option and when the page reloads, you will have the new Gmail look. It's easy peasy. The new Gmail definitely looks more attractive, but the layout doesn't actually change all that much. You still have the tabs across the top, various email categories in the left margin, and Google Hangouts integration in the bottom left corner. For the main page, at least everything is basically identical to what it was before. Switching to the new Gmail even keeps the same theme you had before along with the same advertisements. The new compose button also looks quite nice. Anyway, the basic navigation and layout are the same compared to the old Gmail, they just look a lot nicer, more colorful, and more modern. You shouldn't have any problems learning the new setup. There are some new elements to the main page. The right side of the screen now houses icons for the new Gmail add-ons. By default, I had Google Keep, Calendar, and Google Tasks there, but there is an add button where you can add additional stuff like Asana, Trello, and a bunch of others. Adding these add-ons through the website adds the icons to the right side for easy access. Clicking any of these icons opens a right margin with functionality relative to the icon that you pressed. Thus, if you want to check your calendar while typing an email, you just hit the calendar icon on the right side, and you can without switching tabs or anything like that. There aren't a ton of add-ons just yet, but we imagine the selection will improve over time. We'll talk about one final piece of the new looks in this segment, and they are the subject lines. In the default view, attachments now show up as big colorful icons below the subject line, complete with an icon and part of the attachment name. The icons change based on what kind of file it is. You can click on open and download attachments without actually opening the email, thus adding a bit of ergonomic goodness to the proceedings. Those who don't like this can click the gear icon and change the display density from default to comfortable or compact and that removes this functionality and makes it look like the old Gmail. Along with the new look came some new features as well. We've already talked about the new add-ons in the right margin as well as the new attachments thing in the looks section so we won't talk about them again here. The first and probably best change is the inclusion of quick controls. Whenever you hover over a subject line with your mouse, four icons will pop up on the right side. Those buttons let you delete, archive, or snooze emails and you can mark them as unread. This is vastly faster and not available in the old Gmail. While we're on the topic, snooze is a new feature as well that lets you stash emails away until a later time. It works almost exactly like the snooze button on an alarm clock or most to-do list apps. It'll just notify you of the email later on in the day when you might be able to finally give it a look. The mouse over feature also works with contacts. When you mouse over a contact, it'll show their information along with some action buttons that let you quickly send an email, schedule something on your calendar, or get a hold of them on Google Hangouts. Interesting that Google still cares about Hangouts in 2018, but it is what it is. Don't don't worry, Hadley's email is uncensored on purpose, and yes, I did ask him first. The last new feature is the inclusion of better security notifications. Gmail does a much better job of getting your attention when it flags something as being potentially dangerous. This includes a massive red box that lets you know when a message seems dangerous to Gmail. You can't possibly miss it, and good on Google for adding more security stuff. Okay, so the current Gmail beta, or whatever it is, isn't 100% complete yet, and there are some additional features coming down the pipeline, ostensibly before it actually launches to the public in full. The first feature we'll talk about is called nudging. Gmail will start bugging you about emails that you haven't responded to after a period of time. Thankfully, it doesn't appear as though Gmail is going to be really annoying with it. It'll likely just be a small notification somewhere on the subject line to remind you that you haven't yet responded to that particular message. Then there is the confidential mode that you probably heard about when you saw all of those headlines about self-destructing emails in Gmail. Confidential mode lets you send emails with an expiration date and of course the email will delete itself after it reaches said expiration date. It also includes emails with passcodes where Gmail automatically sends SMS messages with the passcode to the recipient. We would love to show you more but it is a feature still in development so all I could find were some screenshots. The mode also includes the ability to remove the right to do some things. For instance, you can send an email and remove the recipient's right to forward the email or even print it. Of course, a simple screenshot gets around all that, but at least Gmail is trying. 
Finally, Gmail plans to change how it does email subscriptions and notifications. The new Gmail AI will eventually occasionally recommend that you drop an email subscription when it thinks you aren't interested anymore. Meanwhile, high priority notifications will alert you to emails less often, focusing on the ones it thinks are important. That one isn't really necessarily new, but it'll be slightly different inside of Gmail. Oh, and there are plans to improve offline support as well, including the ability to write, respond to, delete, and archive up to 90 days of messages. Now, it's important to know that this is all new stuff. We have seen some comments and complaints about some features being a little buggy, such as the snooze mode. I didn't run into any of those problems during my testing, but it is something to be aware of. Of course, you can always go back to the normal Gmail at any time by clicking the gear icon and choosing the option to go back to the classic Gmail if you need to. Otherwise, what we have here is your basic overhaul. You have a few modern features dotting a much nicer looking landscape. We'll also be paying attention to the new Gmail add-on feature because that should get pretty powerful over time. As always, you can tell us what you think in the comments below or let us know if we missed anything. Also, for those who are worried, Google did expressly state that no big changes were coming to the inbox by Gmail service anytime soon, aside from making them iPhone 10 compatible. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to learn more, we do have the written version linked up in the video description below. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you didn't, well, you still know what to do. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.